Welcome to another video. I had this exact rational expression for limits at negative infinity in my last video, but while I was solving it, I went, what would it feel like if I had to take the integral, the indefinite integral of this? So I decided to do it. So let's just do it. So while trying to figure out how to integrate this, I realized that it would be better for me to express everything in terms of e to the x instead of the e to the negative x. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this expression and say that this is equal to the integral of e to the x plus 1 over e to the x, which is what this is, um, divided by 2 minus e to the x dx. And with this, I think I can do whatever I want to do now. This is going to take a lot of substitution and simplification, so I'm going to try and make my handwriting small so the board would take it. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is a U substitution. Typically, I would take everything in the denominator, but when you're dealing with natural logarithms or um, exponential functions with e, it's better to focus on the top. But in this case, because everything is scattered, I'm just going to focus on e to the x. So I'm going to say that I'm going to let, um, let u be e to the x. So I'm going to replace um, e to the x with u so I don't have to deal with the exponential function for now. Um, so I have e to the x, so I'm going to have du will be equal to e to the x dx. Um, which means I can move this here, but remember e to the x itself is du, so let's see what this expression is going to be like. I can replace this actually, so which implies um, if I divide this by e to the x, I'm going to get dx. But I know e to the x is u, so I can say that um, 1 over u du is equal to dx. Okay, so now this problem becomes the integral of u plus 1 over u, you see that, divided by 2 minus u, and then instead of writing dx, I'm going to write 1 over u, 1 over u du. Okay, so that's nice. Now what I can do now is to multiply, but this 1 over u will just multiply the bottom. I'm going to leave the top, but at the same time I'm going to make this into a single fraction. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to be, if I multiply, or maybe, okay let's write this out. This is the integral. Um, this u will multiply the bottom, so I'm going to leave the top, so it's going to be u plus 1 over u divided by u times 2 minus u, and I have my du. Okay, it's not as complicated as I thought it was going to be. Now, um, this is a fraction within a fraction, so to get rid of this, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by just u. So what I have will be equal to the integral of, um, if I multiply the top by u, multiply the bottom by u, I'm going to have u squared plus 1 over, I multiply this by u, it's going to be u squared, times 2 minus u, and I have du. Okay, so now this is a lot easier because it's getting to the familiar territory where you can now do your either partial fraction decomposition or you can just integrate. I don't know. Let's see. But that's it's beginning to look like that because now I have um, a sum on top and a product in the bottom, and nicely the bottom can be factored. Do you see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is the same thing as I've split this up. This is the integral of u squared over u squared times 2 minus u. And I have plus 1 over u squared times 2 minus u du. You see that? So nicely, I have an integral that's that breaks down. And this is going to be the integral of, I can split this u squared cancels u squared, so what I have left is just 1 over 2 minus u. So I have here 1 over 2 minus u du plus. Here, 
uh, it doesn't look easy. So now I've got to do my partial fraction decomposition because this can be factored into simpler forms. So this is going to be A over, um, this is going to be the integral of A over U plus B over U squared plus C over 2 minus U. Okay, everything du. So I got to simplify all of this. Um, I would like to give each of these their own integral function. So let's do this again. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 minus u du um, plus, I'm going to take this constant to the back while I split everything or, you know what, no. Uh, I'm just going to say the integral of a over u du plus the integral of b over u squared du plus the integral of c over 2 minus u du. So with what I have done, I have simplified this crazy thing to this thing that everybody knows how to integrate. Okay, let's do one more thing. What about if I move all the constants out? Move this out. Do I know what the constants are? I don't know, but it's not important yet because I can integrate. What's important is the integrate. I'll go back and solve for what this con these constants are supposed to be using partial fraction decomposition of this expression. This is um, not that crazy, but let's go to this and then we find out find out what A, B, and C are supposed to be. We just plug them in and we get our actual answers. Okay, so let's go to, maybe we should get what A, B, and C are. Okay, so let's solve that. So remember that it was this expression here that was broken down into this. So let's solve the partial fraction decomposition first. Um, let me use a different color. So let's use, let's say that we have one over, so one over u squared into two minus u was what gave us this expression is equal to a over u plus b over u squared plus c over two minus u. So let's quickly see what a, b, and c are so we can continue our integration. But now everybody can integrate this, okay? So the natural log of this is gonna be negative, it's gonna be a times the natural log of u. This one is easy to integrate because we can apply the power rule, and this one is just c times the natural log of two minus u, but it's gonna be negative. That's the answer, actually, but we need to know what a, b, and c are. So here we've got, Oh, we're going to say 1 is equal to a times, um, we, got, we need one more u, u times 2 minus u, okay, uh, plus this is going to be b times 2 minus u plus c times u squared, uh, u squared. So, now, if you don't know partial fraction decomposition, that's another topic. That's a pre-calculus topic. Go figure it out. I have videos um, on this topic. Uh, maybe I'll attach it to this video so you can go back and look over it. Now, here we are. Now, let's look for a convenient number. What about when u is equal to zero? When u equals zero, so we can say, when u equals zero, what do we have? We're gonna have one here. If you put u here, this zero makes this zero makes this zero, but this is going to be 2b. 1 equals 2b, which implies b is 1 half. Okay, we're done with that. We got b, so this is supposed to be 1 half. Okay, now let's go look for something else. What about when u is equal to 2? When u is equal to 2, um, let's do that again. When u is equal to 2, what we're going to have is... Um, you're going to have 1 is equal to, this is going to become 0, this is going to be 0, and this is going to be 4c, equals 4c, which means that c is 1 over 4. Nice. So now we've got to find a. And in order to find a, I have um, here, 
If I multiply this out, I'm going to have a times u times negative u. That's negative u, um, negative a u squared. And so I'm just looking for the terms that contain u squared because I'm trying to find a. Okay, so here, the terms that contain u squared on the left, there's just the coefficient of u squared is zero. But on this side, I'm going to have negative a u squared. And on this side, I'm going to obtain um, plus c u squared. So as you can see, it looks like 0 is negative a plus c because, or you can say this equals this and that means a equals c. Okay, this implies that 0 equals negative a plus c, which implies that a equals c. And what did we say c was? 1 over 4. So now I got a to be 1 over 4 and c to be 1 over 4. So I can go back and write my integral correctly and take the integral. And now what we have here will be equal to, so we can have this integral show up here and say this is the integral. This is um, the integral of 1 over 2 minus u du. And this is going to be plus. Now my a is 1 over 4, so I can write it as 1 over 4 times the integral of 1 over u du. And b is, what did we say b was again? 1 half will be equal to plus 1 half the integral of 1 over u squared can be written as u to the negative 2 du. Okay, we can apply the power rule in this case. And the final one will be plus c is 1 over 4, 1 over 4 integral of 2 minus u. That's 1 over 2 minus u du. Okay, wow, from complicated to simplified. Now let's go. So this is going to be equal to um, negative natural log of 2 minus u. Okay, so it, basically it should be the natural log of what's under because this is a linear expression, but you see the derivative of negative of this expression is negative, and that's where the negative comes from. Here, it's going, just going to be plus 1 over 4 times the natural log of u. And we go here, it's going to be 1 half. If you apply the power rule, it's going to be u time, um, negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 1, okay, which is going to be a negative. So we're just going to have a negative here, and this is going to be u to the negative 1, u to the negative 1, okay, um, plus here we're going to have 1 over 4 is just negative also because there's going to be a negative coming from here, which is negative 1 over 4 and natural log of 2 minus u, okay, plus c. And that's what we've got. Woo! So let's put things that look similar together. I'm going to put this and this together. You notice that there's negative 1 here. There's negative this here. So if we put negative 1 and negative 1 over 4, it's going to be negative 5 over 4, natural log of 2 minus u. But I don't want to write u because I know u is e to the x. So it's going to be e to the x. Perfect. Okay. Now this is 1 over 4 natural log of u. What's natural log of u? Remember that u is e to the x, so the natural log of u will be the natural log of e to the x, which is x. So it means my answer here is basically plus 1 over 4x. Um, that's going to be x over 4. Okay, I'm done. That. So this is going to be u to the negative 1 is going to be e to the x to the, that's 1 over e to the x. Oh, which is e to the negative x. Okay, we can write it as e to the negative x. So this is going to be 1 half e to the negative x. Okay, and what else do we need to clean up? So we have this, we have this, we have this. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.